fun. A little unlucky there, isn't he? I mean, you never really think that you're going to get off those. Hmm. I can't believe he went for the pot there. It's a poor shot from Ronnie. It really was. One. Karen Wilson, one. Karen Wilson, four. One. A very good pot. Very sweet queuing. Karen Wilson, one. Oh, he keeps five. giving away penalty points this frame. Karen Wilson, five. Eleven. Fifteen. So quite a few mistakes in this frame. Twenty. Fifteen. Sixteen. It's so precise with his positional play that he's just out by the 22. smallest fraction. Beautiful. You just feel if when he can 30. somehow just put every ball on the table now. Well, this next red is frying ball, Wilson had chances, of Sullivan had missed a couple. 35. But was presented with an opening and he's taken it well. 36. Eighty-four. <laughs> Not bothering the with the black, so eighty-four in. from Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's more like it from him. Wilson though did set up that chance. It's now three two. Not a lot of fun really. No, oh, it wasn't so much fun for O'Sullivan. What? He really has to get it. Played it very well. Nine. I think one of Wilson's great. Remember the first time he got to the World Championship quarter final? Because he got beat in the quarters. Someone said, Well, you've had a great championship. He said, I haven't. I haven't won it. Good attitude. Never looked in. Karen Wilson, 14. Yeah, the dreaded D-cell. 
you don't follow through the cue positively. One. And that's what happens. You miss it thin. But what a ball to miss. If Ronnie can somehow find a one visit here right now, it's really going to hurt Nine. his opponent. Ronnie knows that more than anyone. Seventeen. Awkward cueing, but just concentrate hundred percent on keeping still. Put the pink guaranteed to be on the red. Twenty-four. Thirty-one. What he's definitely been doing all night is competing, even if he didn't hit heights pre-interval. No point did he show any signs of throwing in the towel. Ronnie Sullivan, 39. I don't think I've ever seen Ronnie have to play so many awkward shots in one match as he has tonight. It's not been his best cue ball night. One. And that was nicely played. The double and the cue ball. Well, he played the right shot. And you have to say he's a bit unlucky. Three. Four. And that right there is Karen Wilson's strength. Yeah, I heard the guys uh, pre interval mentioned Peter Ebden, who he's known for a long time, and the sort of ball he might have knocked in. Very gutsy pot. Ebden often sort of talked about as being a grinder, which of course he could be, but he would also go for all sorts of balls. Six. Yeah, you hear Karen Wilson's interviews and you close your eyes and you think it's Peter Ebden talking, very similar in their attitudes. Seven. Oh, well, I only just went in. Fifteen. Try to manufacture some sort of angle. Not Karen this time. Wilson, twenty. The super pot. One. Yeah, that was a beautiful opening red. Six. The blue actually wasn't too shabby either. Okay, it may look straightforward, but I'm tighten the jaw to judge the pace to land Seven. on this red. An Twelve. inch too short. So playing this red into a blind pocket, which is never easy. You can see the pocket's not in his eye line. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 12. Mm. I think it's plain to see what he thinks of that shot. 13. One. 
9. Now, if he plays down to the blue, it'll be 13 in front with 13 on, so you will still need the pink. 16. I think for the last three or four weeks, he's quite openly said that he's not been practising at all, hasn't he? And he's been getting results, obviously, through his sheer talent, I mean, how good he is. 18. But I think no matter how good you are, you've still got to put a bit of work in to get that sharpness. Last Sunday in the Scottish Open final, 9-3 to Selby, who wasn't necessarily... It is best all the way through. 21. 25. 30. Well, you can only tie, of course, with a respot. Black comes back on. Foul. My word. Karen Wilson, well, 30. Ronnie Talk Sullivan, about six. careless. Well, I, words escape me. How can the cue ball ever be going anywhere near that pocket? Wow, so Sullivan needs pink and black for the frame. Six. He's been handed to him on a plate. What a mistake from Wilson. The black Thirteen. didn't go in clean, but it went in. What a dramatic frame. Corin Wilson will be absolutely sick. It's 3-3. Three, three. Now, chat between the players here. Well, what's happening now? Is it something to do with the watch? Ronnie's handing it to Rob Spencer on the marker's desk. Hold on. Well, what a fluke. What a time yeah. to get it after that last frame. He shakes his head, but he'll be happy to see it go in. Guard in the watch, we understand, because Sullivan has been known to set it to time the ad break so he doesn't have to sit in his chair. And apparently a, a beep or the alarm went off or something, and Wilson heard it and has asked him to take it off, which he's done. Eight. I mean, the fact he knows how long the ad breaks are is impressive to start with. Fifteen. Just below centre, striking left-hand side. Mm, too much side on the cue ball. Does he still have a pot on to left middle? So we're going to have to power the screen in. Bolt cushion, left side cushion. Difficult to get enough pace in the cue ball to really open reds up. Foul. Karen Wilson, 20. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 4. He really does pot some balls, Karen Wilson. You can't leave him anything. One. Seven. So he's playing for the single red and in potting this. He'll certainly be bringing it. I think at least one or two reds into play. Thirteen. 
Karen Wilson. It always seems to be left with something difficult, which is the problem. Pink, not his favourite colour right now. One. And O'Sullivan is sort of picking up the pieces. I mean, he's clearly not happy with his game, but the fact is he's won the two frames after the interval. It's interesting when things go wrong, you do start to hear things. He heard Ronnie's watch, of course, no. the other day in the Scottish final. Ronnie said he could hear Mark Selby putting his glass of water down, all that sort of thing. Oh dear. Oh dear. 16. Well, at least it wasn't enough. I thought that was going in. 17. Well, that's a wonderful recovery. 17. I was just about to say, at least this shows how difficult a game snooker is. Because for the majority of a season, Ronnie Sullivan makes it look ridiculously easy. And it just shows you it's anything but. Now, if this little cannon works out on the reds. Mm, he's going to need a gap. Has he got a gap? 23. The third red down in that line of three. Maybe then the closest one goes even. 24. Well, what a chance to win three frames in a row. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Forty-four. Forty-five. Karen Wilson will be very frustrated in his chair. He said it's not as if Ronnie's won these three 52. frames and not given Karen chances. All three. It's been going to and fro between the players. Chances to win them. 61. I mean, they played in the English Open final three years ago. O'Sullivan won 9 2, pot success 97%. Wilson just barely got a look in all day. This is different. He's had lots and lots of chances. 64. Giving O'Sullivan these openings. 72. And whatever O'Sullivan thinks about his own performance, the fact is he's now in front in the match. 77. Oh, sorry, 73. 79. So, the frame began with Wilson taking O'Sullivan's watch, but it ends with O'Sullivan taking the lead. Three in a row after the interval, he leads by four frames to three. Smiles, believe it or not, that was a, a, a pot attempt there. It's just his long game is just completely out of sorts tonight. One heavy contact, stop the momentum of the cue ball. Nine. Well, this is a real tightrope walk, isn't it? Well, we know he's good with the rest, but he just keeps putting himself under pressure, it seems, every shot. Yeah, and he's missed. Well, he's had so many chances. <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan evidently has not been at the top of his game, but he now has a chance for potentially to win frame and match. Yeah, you can't keep being out of position and keep putting yourself out of trouble all night. It just it just gets too difficult. One. Nine. 
نعم When it's a struggle, that's what happens on another day. Cannon knows two reds and the cue ball stays down this end of the table. Both players tonight are just really struggling to get that cue ball under control. And for once, Ronnie finds a long pot. But where's the cue ball? I think he actually was concentrating so much on potting the red that that, was, that took up all of his attention. Played this well. Doesn't use the rest that often, actually. So there's one red on the left hand side cushion that at the moment is looking like Wilson's potential saviour. Although in this match, 20. who knows? There's been a lot of errors on both sides. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Pull this red and flick the other one off the cushion. Could be all over. Mm, just it must have been just a little bit too thin. Thirty-five. I cut in the red to be able to do that, and it looks to be pretty straight in the pink. So double. It's a right middle pocket. Forty-one. Could be a match winner. Ronnie Sullivan. Forty-one. Looks like he's playing the roll up. Hmm. And you'll be horrified by that. Well, this time the snooker was played. This is never going to reach. The miss. Ronnie Sullivan, four. Foul. The miss. Ronnie Sullivan, four. Surprised at this. Kyle Wilson must be a huge sigh of relief. that was now another very good pot on the yellow and play for left middle or green pocket here Fine. That's beautifully played. It looks like getting the W. Eight. What he has shown though is the terrific will to win. And yes, he's got frustrated at times, but you know he's come back and just made enough of these chances. In goes the brown. Karen Wilson has got Twelve. to be sick. He'll look back on that sixth frame when he went in off the pink. A lot of mistakes from him. A match to forget, really, 17. having led 3-1. O'Sullivan, you've got to say, was there for the taking, but it's going to be Ronnie O'Sullivan moving on to the semi-finals. 23 frame in a match, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, so Ronnie O'Sullivan will play Judd Trump in the first semi-final of the World Grand Prix. It might not have been vintage, but he dug in, potted a terrific red there at the end of that eighth frame. O'Sullivan beats Karen Wilson 5-3.